and welcome to Dandelion Dollies. 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 Hello and welcome back to Dandelion Dollies. Um, I know I said I was gonna finish the um, Amanda Hayes outfit today, and I will still do that, but I was looking on Pinterest, and I saw this super cute thing where they had these, like, mini Waldorf dolls that were, like, you know, like, two inches high, and they had them in these, like, leaf things, so I'm gonna make one of those, but bigger, for Cece. The one that they used was made out of felt, so I'm going to be using some felt. I don't know if I have brown felt, but I do know I have green felt, so I'm gonna see what I have. Okay, I got some green felt. If this works out, I'm gonna do it again with some green fleece, but I'm gonna use this first because I have more of it. So now I gotta figure out the shape of how this is going to go. So, let's see. I'm gonna start. I'm gonna try tracing this around to see what I'm gonna do for this. So you can't really see the lines, but they're there. And the post that I saw was an oak leaf, but I'm going to do just like, I don't know, like, you know, just like a classic leaf shape. We'll add some embroidery to it. So as you can see, I have cut out like this, and then I have like a line here for where the front part's going to be. So now I'm going to fold this over and cut it out. Oh. So now that that's cut out, it's going to look something like this. Um, I'm going to see putting CC in it without it like sewn and stuff to see how it looks. This is going to be adorable once you sew it together and add the little leaf details. I think I might have made it go two up, two up in the back, but yeah, so now it's time to pin and sew this together. And just as I finished doing the pinning, I realized I should probably do the embroidery before I do the sewing of it together. So now I have to unpin it and work on the embroidery. So this is what I'm going to do, and I'm going to try to see if I can get away with using a sewing machine to do this. Because it's not like doing intricate embroidery, it's just sewing lines, so yeah. So what I'm doing for these is I'm just like sewing that line in the back there, because they're like on the same line. And then I'm lifting up the presser foot while the needle is like in the fabric, right on the line there. And then I twist the fabric around, so that's at a good angle to start going on this one. I'm honestly loving this. Like, I know it's like the simplest embroidery you could ever do, but it is so cute. And now I'm going to do the back one. But first I'm going to cut off this extra that I don't want on the um, back panel. Now I've drawn the lines on, so now I'm just going to sew them. I think this is going to work, but if I don't like how it looks, I'm just going to like take it apart and then just like hang this on my wall because it's super cute. But, um, so then we're just going to want to sew these two pieces together and I think I want to have it so that you can I'm not sure if I want to have it so you can see the stitches or so you can't but it'll be very easy to turn this um, inside out or whichever way I want it so yeah now that that's pinned we're just gonna sew it so now it's basically done we just need to flip this inside out I feel like it could fit more snugly around here but I like it and I kind of like it with it when it's not turned inside out better I feel like this one looks more like the picture and less like a sleeping bag but yeah, I really like this. I'd say this is a success um, with this Pinterest Waldorf doll DIY hack. Um, that's all for now, my dolls, and I hope you stick around. Bye!